Hey everybody, it's Eric. Hey everybody, this is Glenda. I just said it. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> we are DD Miniature Board Games. Hey, so about a week and a half ago, I guess, we got Company of Heroes in. Are you sure a week and a half ago? Ah, God, I might be a little bit longer. Uh, yeah. But uh, we're finally kind of getting around to actually unboxing it. So if you want to see what's inside, stay tuned. So, Company of Heroes. It took you and Sam both to lift and move this box, I believe. I remember it outside. You know, I hear, I heard the doorbell, and there's a box, and I told Sam, Sam, go ahead, take it in. No, it's heavy. And I went outside, and no, it's heavy. So we had to do it together. That thing is heavy. All right, so uh, let's let's take a look at this crate from the outside. Uh -huh. I've done a, I videoed both sides of it, so there's about ten to fifteen sections seconds of both sides. And then I took and did an upward shot of actually taking like everything out saying, of it. Uh -huh. And hopefully right now you're looking at yes, that. And you're, you're, seeing. You're, you're seeing me taking out, like, I th what is there, six, ten? There's eleven boxes in this, this crate. Different sizes. And this was something that uh, I, had, I had gotten one of the uh, large pledges. And when... They came out with the idea of the crate thing. I was like, well, geez, that's like five more dollars than I paid for the pledge and for the uh, stuff that I got. So I emailed him real quick. I said, yeah, so can I just change over and pay five bucks for the crate? Because it came out after, right? Yeah. After you put your and I can put everything back in that crate and stick it over on the thing and put stuff on top of it because it's a pretty sturdy uh, ammo crate looking thing. And it's nice. I mean, you can see it. It's really nice. Well, they're probably done seeing it. Well, you've seen yeah, it, you've so seen it's it, really nice. You know, that crate is a uh, crate. <laughs> so You're not playing with it. We're going to do ugh, this all in one shot. It's really heavy. This right here is Company of Heroes, the board game. This is, I believe this is the four-player version. Yeah, two to four players, 14 and up, takes one to two hours to play. Folks, this is just, <laughs> it's just the base, base two to four-player game. This will give you the Germans, the British, the Americans, and the Russians. This, do, this doesn't even include all the add-ons. doesn't even include it. Base game. So if you're a, now the, this is based on a, a video game, yeah, I see but it's also it. based on Sega. Obviously, World War II. Even just the base game has got weight to it. They have capitalized so much on World War II. <laughs> All right. With games. Company of Heroes. Let's just put that over there because we're gonna need deep room. Box. Wow, there's there's. <laughs> okay, hey, there's. What do you expect? There's basic, there's advanced, and then there's the mission book. So, see, that just shows everything you're going to get in just the base game. Which is a lot, folks. I mean, I, I was pretty impressed with everything that they were going to have in this game. And I've actually seen some people actually have already got their stuff painted. I was like, oh, God. They have painted yeah, it? They've already painted it. Well, those people are really good here. Enthusiastic. And the advanced rules. Let me have that, please. Oh, uh, would you so like that? Yeah. Would you like it? So basic. Oh my God, look at this. Even the substance of the paper that they use. It does give you a quick icon reference for the advanced on the back. It has the waxy feel. Uh, you do have your mission book. Now, this will give you things uh, well, like Stalingrad. And uh, different locations. You've got an island to fight over, capture the flag, the chapel. They give you medium maps, and I believe it will take you up all the way to large maps. Yep, up to the large map. You're probably going to be here for a while, huh? <laughs> Decal sheets. For your tanks and different uh, vehicles and such. Caring for your new miniature collection. Well, let's see. 
it gives you the hot water trick on dipping in uh, hot water to remold your turrets if they're bent. Mm -hmm. That's kind of nice. I've never seen a company actually send you the rules on how to fix bent plastic. Well, it's a bonus for people who does not know. Uh, it tells you that in less than five minutes you can actually have a very detailed model or you can just go with the base color. Is this for the newbies? Possibly. All right, let's slide that up a little bit and over. Okay. So these, I believe, are the way of tracking the... Well, someone has the rule book. Have you seen this? They even had this, um, the error thing, the typo. They even told you which one. Oh, well, that's nice. Mm -hmm. So you have your commander, gives you your experience. You get four of these in here. Stockpiles, uh, incomes, who your commander is. All right, let's set those over there. So this is the what, HQ boards? Mm -hmm. Must be. The top one there? Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. And looks like you got, got placement a... placement and bunker tokens. Yeah. Yep, the wrong one. Mm -hmm. And you got sandbags and flags. Nice. And they are double sided, so. I'm sure Price again. Pop it. It's poppable. Easy, easy. So. Oh, yeah. You got little reference cards here. Gonna, what are these? These are underneath the. Um, what are these? Okay, hang on for a sec. Okay. How does it look like? It's right there. Is it that? Mm -hmm. No. See? Oh, yeah, it is. It's a 12 building boards. Okay. So on here it looks like it tells you your, your different health, different experiences, uh, range, attack values, so forth. Huh. These are front and back folks. Um, unit maneuvers, round sequences on the back, defense matrix. Different information you may need throughout the game is on the back of these. And these are commander cards. That should be 20. Okay. It's the commander. Ranger Company. Engineer. Commando. And what most of wow, you are usually waiting so on, they have the miniatures in their own little trays in here. So, I guess we'll look at the British first. So, the British have two different style tanks. If you flip over to the next page, you you can't identify your own? Well, one of these is a Churchill. <laughs> and that, this is a Bren is carrier. British tanks, Eric, in your favorite tank, Joe? Shut the hell up. <laughs> okay, there you go. So is you got the, the Cromwell, the Churchill, the Centaur, the Staghound, and the Universal okay. Carriers. And then you have your... Your different figures here, which if you notice here, there's square pegs, so when you get these out of the bag, you can just set them down into the pegs. Uh, right now, you are probably seeing 360 degree views, because you know what? That's what we do, folks. We like to show you what we're seeing. That's why we're here. Unfortunately, my new uh, 360 degree view thing has not come in yet, because I did find a motorized one. Thanks to uh, another uh, YouTube channel, I like sent him a message and said, where did you get yours? Because it's smaller, but it's motorized, and that's what I want, because I'm so sick and tired of spinning the black turntable. He's, he's complaining, and he told me to shut up, and he's complaining. Germans? <laughs> Germans! Um, yeah, Germans, Eric. <laughs> Germans. Ooh. What color is that, gray? 
Oh my god. Yes, great. Ooh, there you go. So you get two Tigers, two Panzers, um, Storm, Storm Panzer. Panzer. And Aust Wind. And then you got your uh, SDKFZs over here Ch -ch -ch and Koopa Wagons. Koopa Wagon. And just like uh, with the British, you do have your infantry stands here, your anti tank, and your regular troops. And there are the squares in the bottom of this tray as well. These are some. These are some nice trays. They're they're designed almost <laughs> almost perfectly. Actually, they are. They they. I like how they did this. And then we have the Americans. <gasps> The Americans have their little Sherman tank, and there is a... I was going to say, is that supposed to be, like, empty? <gasps> no. Well, I wonder, because we have the Shermans, and we have the... Wolverine? Yeah. Mm, that's the, the Greyhound. The Priest, and we have the Jeeps, and the Greyhound. There's probably something in the expansions that'll fit into there. It's probably designed like that, maybe the Pathfinders or something. It may have been something that didn't get unlocked. Maybe there was something that was supposed to be, supposed to be extra unlocked and they never got to it in the uh, stretch goals. Where is this? Right there. Mm. Alright, so we have the uh, infantry along with the anti-tank bazooka guys here. <laughs> and now for the Russians. The Russians are going to have their iconic T-34 tank, obviously. Well... That's a T-76, okay. T-34-76 yeah. is what it's called. And then they have their SU-85, the T-70 light tanks, the... Scout color. Yeah. <laughs> Looks like... Let me see. Let me even... See, that's why they the, have uh, all these tips. The yeah. Soviets just have troops. Because it's bent. We we'll just have a bunch of troops for the Soviets, folks. <laughs> I'm not gonna wait. They're having to wait. Oh, uh, pretty. Oh, I can them great. <laughs> All right. So, so this game has a lot of dice, and you have tracker dice. You have different emblem dice, so you have regular many. dice, you have colored cubes, more dice, more dice, more two, dice. two sand. Hourglass. Yep. And uh, then we start having the different stands for troops and gun emplacements. Like here's some artillery pieces, looks like pack 40s for the Germans. And. Some mortars, Ten and mortars, some heavy machine AD guns. guns, and machine guns. That's what it is. Mm -hmm. Those dice, there's the pip dice for building health, the white one. Okay. And the orange one, 120 white and orange cubes. That's all it's, it's called. Alright, and we have the pip dice are these, the white are these ones. gray ones. The gray ones. And then you have the uh, this one, 54 danger, which I'm assuming that's Damage status the... and unit dice. Okay. For damage status and unit dice, which is awesome. And then what about the colors? Those cubies are not even here. I don't know. What's that? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so we also have like the, the jelly. These are the twelve. Oh, command cubes. Okay. And these are the, these are the twenty-four infantry tray and six vehicle. So these are your vehicle. These are your infantry trays. Okay. Nice. For those of you counting, we're 13 minutes into this video and we aren't even done with the base game yet. It's a deep one. Ugh, okay, these are your map tiles. And there's a lot of them in here. first one where we get to fold out and these are double sided also so when you get done with one side you can flip over and you have your other side <laughs> that's that's the idea that's the idea I'm 
Where I got a place to put this stuff. Okay, so that's one. And there are four in all in the base game. Folks. Four double sided map panels. This looks like it's got to be Stalingrad, you know, since it says Stalingrad. Oh. And it's Stalingrad map 1 and Stalingrad map, map 2. Now this side isn't Stalingrad. This is the monastery side. And then you have map 1 of Stalingrad. But not least, I'm missing my way. There's so many. <laughs> so many. Okay. So this is monastery also. Yeah, obviously. <laughs> and another Stalin the other part of Stalingrad, and it's got the rail bridge. So. And for those of you who've been keeping track, that is everything in the four-player base game for Company of Heroes. So we're going to get into some of these expansions now. Um, but let's do the little ones. Now, for some reason, I've got two of the Eastern reinforcement boxes. Um... I think it might have been probably stretch goal related, but because of that, we just really have to open one. Right, We're going to slide that one onto the, the side. So the Eastern Reinforcement Box, Company of Heroes. Alright, so. We get two more pieces of armor and some more infantry. And with the Eastern Reinforcements you get four more of the, uh, you get four cards for the Eastern Reinforcements. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that's Eastern Reinforcements. So this is the Pathfinder pack. Now I believe this was um, a free part. Mm -hmm. Either it was stretch goal or if you bought, in a, if you uh, pledged in the first 24 hours or something, you got this for free. Oh. I don't remember what exactly it was, but... Okay. He got it, so... So, it does give you one massive piece of armor. <clears throat> this is heavy. Some more U.S. troops. And two more cards, Pathfinder Company and Assault Support doctor, doctor, Doctrine. This is nice. Heavy. A weapon wow. in itself. <laughs> that is awesome. And then we have the Stug Assault Pack. Stug, Stug, <laughs> Stig. I'm going to get corrected, who cares? Could be Stug, could be Stug. <laughs> After five years, you guys think I could? Six, seven, six, seven years? I don't care if I'm getting corrected at this point. It's going to happen. Look at that. More dice. More dice. And bicolored tanks. <laughs> so... Awesome. Well, that's the end of the little packs, folks. Oh, yeah, because more big boxes to open.
We are 20 minutes in, folks. So we're going to look at the Elite Commanders, Company of Heroes, the board game. Too much? No, no, no. It's good. <laughs> nice. Look at that. So every every box is a treat, you know. So it's it great that they have. Oh, these actually are the missile launchers that go on top of for the rockets. Mm. Mm. <clears throat> so it, it's great that all these work like this and are designed. But the bad thing is that if you want to break this down and put it into like all in one box, it may not be as easy. But Eric, why? Why wouldn't it be as easy or why would you why want to do it? Why would you want to do it? It has its own box, you just have to make a room for it. Next week, it's folks, when I take over one of the bedrooms. And I said it before, if you watch our series of unboxing. It's yeah, going to happen. Maybe I need to find me a house. <laughs> Here you go. That's awesome. That's all I do. Does it come off? So this is the uh, Elite Commanders pack for Company of Heroes. Company of Heroes. This is the Elite. Mm -hmm. Elite. Look at them. They look like Elite. And that should be a good idea. That should be the better one. Next is... Pretty soon we won't be able to see over that pile. The Solo and Co-op Expansion. So, you know, for you folks at home that want to play by yourself, you have the Solo. solo. If you want to play with lots of people, you got the Co-op. Sometimes you're just going to have to play by yourself. Because there's nobody else there to play with. So we have some black cubes. And we have a rule book, the solo rule book. <laughs> Obviously, this is how you would set it up. You have uh, AI action cards, which are what these are, which we'll look at in a minute. You have the AI instruction ah. cards, AI command cards, 64 unit event tokens, and this rule book in here. So this how rule book long does that solo game play? Well, it says one to two hours per game. So, I mean, hey. I, I can't tell you how long the solo game might actually take. And you probably will win anyway. Well, you're playing <laughs> so well. Really? It's a joke. Eric used to do that. Play solo. I always ask him to do it. Uh, it has never been said that my wife is not mean, okay? <laughs> that's funny. Okay. Alright, so we have these tokens, which are just popping out all over the place already. They're ready to be played. Yep. Wow. But it's nice. It's nice. They weren't taking any. They aren't. They aren't losing any time popping out, <laughs> folks. Okay. So we have the different cards here for the solo and co-op play. This is mostly though for the solo. Uh, you have your instruction cards, and you have your AI commander cards. Supreme Commander. And then you have your instruction cards here. Which I'm sure after reading the rule book will be more understandable of what you're doing with these. Because right now, there's a bunch of cards. Right now there's just a bunch of cards, folks. I know some people actually, you know, go, in, already read go into the Kickstarter and read the rules that they've given so they have some understanding. I ain't one of those people. For us? We read them about an hour before we try and play so it. So nice. Okay, so. There's a phase one and phase two here. Okay, so AI action deck phase one. And phase two. And phase two. 
So it looks like when phase two goes, it's more. Phase one is like three, phase two is like four. All right. It never ends. At least with that box, I'm not doing any 360s later on. What do we have? Uber Commando West. Come to your board game exchange. Is there any Uber or Uber? Uber Commando. It's more Germans. The Uber Commando? It's more Germans, it don't matter. Alright, so first and foremost, <coughs> Command West cards. And the HQ, the Battle Group, and the Panzer HQ. So let's see what we get. The West Expansion. Huh. <laughs> there are artillery pieces. Goodness gracious. Teeny tiny detailed one. Istuka Haftak. It's a panther. I'll tell you what, they, they have some uh, they have some weight to them. They're heavy. Supply trucks. Easter Storm Tiger. Storm Storm Tiger. Oops. Detail too. Wow, I just dropped that folks. I didn't even break the turret off. That's actually pretty impressive. That's, I know, this is they're pretty well good. Made. And then you uh you obviously get some more infantry here. Infantry. Well, hopefully you guys got to see 360 degree views of all of those. Impressive. So we got the World Builder Pack and then the two terrain boxes. And we are 25 minutes in, folks. <laughs> Sorry about that, folks. <laughs> so, Company of Heroes, the board game World Builder Pack. And after this, we just, like I said, we have the terrain packs. So what's in the World, world Builder Pack? Don't know. That sounds interesting. Well... Well, looks like we have more map packs. We have more uh, terrain features we can add to our maps. Let's see here. Oh look, a windmill. So features to add to the to the maps, mm -hmm. and it looks like we've gotten two more maps. It's a challenge. So, first map, we got a nice river across. Uh, it's summer, map summer. one. And the next map is, looks like. Winter? Is it winter number one? Oh, yeah, winter, winter number two. two. Is that the same location, does it look like? No. Just both have bridges on it. Stick that over there. And this would be summer number two, and so I guess winter number one, apparently. Mm 
Alright, so <clears throat> winner number one, you have a nice rail line there uh, going across the what's left of the river. And this is summer number two. Lots of roads, folks. Lots of roads. Green <laughs> And that was the end of the world builder. So I guess we're getting into the terrain packs then. Let's bring them both over here. Right. Try not to hit terrain the terrain pack one. Try not to hit terrain the pack two. The control again. So we'll go into terrain pack one here first. This is the one that has the original buildings that were offered. It was actually, I believe, part of one of the pledges. Terrain pack one. So, barbed wire. Hmm. Sandbag emplacements. Yay. Tank traps. Cool, this is awesome. Apparently, you get red and blue flags here. And here are the flag poles. Which look like actually have been designed like uh, supply depots. And then you have the buildings. <laughs> Looks like nine buildings. They all have, they are all of the same design. Now these are made so that you can have troops, uh, you put them on top and whether they're in top or inside the building, they get. But there's no inside and there's no opening. No, well, but. We can't see through. You can't see all the people. Oh my god, nice So that's terrain pack one. What are these? Those these are flags. Are the flags. Okay. And let's see Lastly, what. Lastly! <laughs> the last box! Terrain pack two. Ruin to four. Folks, there is so much in this Kickstarter. And I can see how you, know, you the, will enjoy the, the game. This kind of reminds me of how much was like in Joan of Arc. That too, yeah, yeah. yeah. Alright, so we have what look like 88s. Deployed. We have a bunker, a very extensive looking bunker, and it's heavy too, folks. Oh yeah. And another bunker. And you think it will be light. We have oh what looks like what's left of part of a church, which would probably be this church. <laughs> and you can put that on there and you have a bombed out church. And we have other, other, lots of other things in here. Ruins. Lots of stuff in here, folks. So, obviously we have, what, one, two, three, four, five, six, Seven. Seven of the same style building ruin. I mean, it's basic, but it works. Yes. Um, I'm going to haphazard a guess that that goes up there. Or that goes up there. So it's before and after? Mm-hmm. Apparently though it's always got the little shell explosion on the top. <laughs> what would that be like? Wow. Let's do the after. And then you had 
gun emplacements. I don't know, there is so much. And they're all well made, good quality game pieces. Like, really. Are they all? Yeah, they all look good. Wow. Wow. <laughs> really? Wow. I mean that uh, we're we're talking almost we're probably going to be on forty minutes by the time this is actually done. Well, I'm not going to be surprised because there's so much. And I'm gonna I'm gonna be busy for the next probably hour doing all the three sixties of all the miniatures. Shh, don't tell them they've already seen it. <laughs> Put a lot of work into these videos for you folks. You may not believe it. You, you know it's our pleasure. Like when we open stuff, first time we see it. You know, we share it with you. So there's a lot of effort. E for effort. And we get to see it, you know, at the same time. Just like how Eric is stocking up all these goodies. I promise you, she's talking about goodies. Well, these are all goodies. You know, the only thing I don't like is, you know, you got the two parts for the church. They should have uh, built something that you could put in there. Correct, that it's not ruined yet. So it wasn't yet. ruined yet, yeah. I mean, I get it. It's still, still a battlefield area, but you know. Well, discover it with a piece of something, and then you got ruined after, and then you have it. Voila! There's a lot here, folks. <laughs> There's a lot. Oh my God! Heavy. So as always, folks, support your local gaming. We support. Discover, Discover Games in Fayetteville, Georgia. Game on, everybody. Game on.